Hello everyone, this is Eric Folks, Instructional Technology Coordinator for Lampasticize D. I just want to take a quick moment to show you how to insert 3D content from Google 3D Warehouse, uh, now known as the 3D uh, the Trimble Warehouse, Google Trimble Warehouse. So, um, Smart Notebook gives you the ability to insert 3D content, lots of 3D content, or at least I think 8 to 11 items are included in Smart Notebook by default. If you go to the My Content folder and type in 3D as your search term, you're going to see the 3D objects that show up. There's 76 that are showing up uh, in this version of Notebook, and that's just because I've added a bunch of extra. But there's some pretty neat capabilities with 3D objects. If I pull this crab in, for instance, on the surface, it appears like a 2D two-dimensional object. But if I click on it, and I am connected to a smart document camera 330 or later, or um, newer, uh, and I'm connected with a gray USB cable so that uh, it can be pulled straight into Smart Notebook, as you can see on this side right here. Um, I have the ability to utilize the 3D content in a variety of different ways. First, I can click on it, and then I can rotate the object in a variety of different directions. And if I've got the object on screen and I pull in the document camera, Again, it has to be connected using the USB. Then I'm able to manipulate the object using the Mixed Reality tool. Okay. So given that there are a limited number of 3D objects in Smart Notebook, how do you get more 3D objects? Well, you can see there are a couple of different ways that you can do that. One of them is through Smart Exchange. You can go to Smart Exchange and actually filter by file type and say that you are just looking for 3D content. Uh, but the one we're going to focus on today is Google 3D Warehouse. So I'm going to click here to browse the Trimble 3D Warehouse, which is what it's called now. It'll open up in the default web browser, and there's lots of different content that is out there. Uh, we're going to just grab one of these first objects here, uh, Museum of Contemporary Art. Now, with changes that Google's recently made to the uh, 3D Warehouse, uh, you can no longer download Collada file types, which is the necessary file type that you need uh, to insert into Smart Notebook. So what we do instead is we download the SketchUp model version. And go ahead and click Open. And what's required here is that you have a Google, 3, um, Google SketchUp installed on the computer. Okay, I'll show you where to install that here in just a second. Um, minimize this. So it tells me welcome to SketchUp. I click start using SketchUp. And this is just SketchUp Make. It's the uh, cheaper version that's available free for educators. Uh, and at this point, I can, um, and I said go ahead and open it so it's going to pull it straight out, um, straight into the program. I could also have gone file, open, and then browse to wherever I saved the file. But what's nice about this is in SketchUp, all we have to do is go straight to Export, 3D Model, and it defaults to the Collada file type. I'm going to just take note of the name and the location of the save. So I export it. And I can minimize SketchUp and pull back in Smart Notebook. Move this over. And now to pull in my brand new 3D content, all I do is drag it over into Notebook, and you can see the 3D camera and the mixed reality um, mixed reality cube is already picking it up, picking it up, and so now I'm able to pull in that three-dimensional content uh, straight from Google 3D Warehouse. Not too difficult to do. It's actually a pretty simple process. Download it, open it up with SketchUp, export it as a Collada file type. So to download and uh, install SketchUp, you're going to need uh, some help from technology. Uh, so if you put in a help desk request for extra software to be added to your computer, you can do that. Um, and they can download SketchUp for you. You can also download SketchUp at home for free. If you click download SketchUp and say that you are an educator, um, you can download SketchUp Make for free. Just put in a little bit of information, and then it will uh, give you the ability to download it and install it at home. Again, if you need to do that at school, um, so you can take advantage of some of the technology resources here at school, then just put in a help desk request, or you can always email me, folksE at lampasticized.k12.tx.us, and I'd be glad to come by and help you do it as well. 
Thanks for your time.